Hi and welcome to news making headlines on August 26. Thera today reveals the face of the monk at the center of a sex clip. He is Abbot Pasane Nasilo of Wat Doi Hang Bat in the northern province of Lampun, who was allegedly seen on the video clip cavorting naked with a gay partner in a bathtub of a luxury resort in Chiang Mai. A, to- a hotel guest secretly taped the antics on his mobile phone, which was later leaked to the media. Thai Rat's headlines say Abbot denies allegation, claiming video edited. The Office of National Buddhism says if the Abbot is found guilty, he will be defrocked. Prasanne flatly denied the allegation, saying he was harassed by people who want him out of the temple. An investigation against the Abbot is underway. Phu Jit Gan newspaper runs a pointer that may disturb many, with an eye-catching headline reading. This is an gamma attack toxin, fatally ill. All his children, wife, stay close to him in Dubai. Now it's up to you whether you want to believe this piece of news. Granted, the former PM's mysterious silence for months has fueled speculation that he must be seriously ill. In fact, the article goes as far as to speculate that Taksin could virtually be breathing his last breath. It also quotes sources as saying Taksin is too exhausted to even tweet or write messages on his Facebook page due to the side effects of ke- chemotherapy treatment. Meanwhile, Thai Rat highlights an important development in Thai Cambodian ties, featuring a picture that shows Cambodian Ambassador Yu Oi returning to Thailand yesterday to carry out her duties after the two neighbors decided to normalize relations. This followed Thaksin's decision to quit as advisor to Cambodian PM Hun Sen. Another front page headlines from the newspaper says Princess Ubon Rat accepts Big Nam Wan. Bed ridden due to obesity, as patient under her protonage, 32-year-old Atapon Dang Kam Kun of Big Nam Wan, who earns a living by selling sugary drinks in Nakhon Si Thamarat, has been obese since he was three years old. He now weighs a massive 350 kilograms. The report says support has been pouring in for an unfortunate big, following media coverage of his plight. One lady even no- donated a carton of cooling powder after learning he loves to use it. Thanks to the princess, he is going to be transferred to a Bangkok hospital for treatment. Well, don't we always hear of scared passengers being robbed by taxi drivers? Here's news reveal- revealing the opposite. Thai Rat's headline says, "Taxi driver shot in the head, money stolen, hunt for bandits passengers." The body of the driver was found on ramp in Tra 117, five kilometers from where his taxi was discovered. The criminals did not take the taxi, but removed the, mat- the meter and stereo system-, system. A wallet without money was left at the scene. Police suspect more than one man conned the taxi driver to isolated area before attacking him. Being hounded by those blood-sucking mosquitoes, well. Here's something that will protect you. Thai Post Excite cover headline say: Stunning. Nano mosquito nets not only prevent but kill mosquitoes. Safety guaranteed. Made in Thailand. Science Minister Virachai Virat Metha Kun says the National Nano Technology Center will transfer the knowledge to local producers to produce nano mosquito nets that kill mosquitoes in six seconds by a synthetic chemical called. Data metrin. The net is said to cost only 200 baht and can be watched 30 times. The center is going to use the same technology to develop anti-mosquito curtains and jackets for the police and military. Are you someone who's annoyed by monkeys? There's an effort to curb the population of around 2,000 monkeys at Kaukrachok in Prachup Kirikan as they disturb tourists by begging for food. The provincial governor has ordered that the monkeys be sterilized to control their population. Meanwhile, after a popular intelligent police monkey named Santi Suk Probda was killed in a dog attack, the police officer now has a new monkey, which he has named Santi Pa Probda, to help him with police duties in Patani. Santi Pa yesterday made his debut on the big screen, acting in a Thai movie.
When the clever Sandisu was alive, he too had a sideline acting job. Let's end our program with a Thai post picture showing the atmosphere in parliament. A caption says, many MPs are captured falling asleep on duty during the budget debate. We leave you with today's Nation front page. Have a nice day. Bye.